morning! Welcome back to another Subiches video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team All Blade, hashtag No Blade Left Behind, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Squad goals, guys. Thank you for being here. Hopefully you guys got yourself a nice hot cup of coffee and a comfortable chair because today we're going wild, we're going fast. You could say we're a little bit wet and already getting wild, guys. We're stoked. We're here for the Lather Games Episode 2, guys. We are here today to do a little bit of SE shaving. Today's challenge, butter the toes. You got to knock down that stubble with an SE razor. And hopefully you're using one of the vendor razors today. I'm really excited. Today we're going to be rocking the Vector, guys. This is the Blackland Vector. And it's the first time on channel that we've been using this. I've got it paired up with a Razor Rock aluminum handle and guys i'm just absolutely stoked for this shape i cannot wait for it and i'm so excited to have you here we're going to be using some kai captain pinks because that's how we do in this house guys we like these blades i really enjoy them they're smooth they're efficient and yet mild they don't tend to like to bite me like the feathers do right the feathers tend to give me a rougher shave without smoothness where the kai captains are smooth and don't leave me with any nicks so i really like these blades guys they are awesome and they have this kind of like bluish tint to them that are really cool. Now here's the thing, I am a subi truthful shaver, right? We're Transparent Corner 101. We are here to be honest and to be as uh, upfront as we can be, right? And listen, I've got some qualms with the Vector Razor today. I'm bleeding because of the Vector Razor. I'm gonna have in this corner here, kind of going through the subi hat cam angle on loading the razor. And my biggest qualm, guys, is also the biggest benefit of the razor. It's tiny. Look at how thin this blade is, or thin the head is, guys. It barely fits the blade. What ends up happening is you get that blade loaded into there and it gets stuck. Guys, today I'm gonna to show you guys how it gets stuck, kind of what ends up happening when it gets stuck. You end up, I end up having to use uh, tweezers usually to get the blade off of the um, pin, guys. Keep in mind, your, the pin is square. It does not have a standard hole in it and it causes some issues. I'm gonna talk about it while we shave. I'm gonna definitely talk about it and talk about how I fix it and a workaround to get this amazing razor just a little bit easier to unload, right? Get over one of those little teeny tiny setbacks that get, makes me not wanna pick up the Vector on a daily basis. Guys, today we're gonna to be rocking the London Barbershop from Maggard Shaving, guys. Maggard Shaving London Barbershop. Really good, nice, just classic barbershop scent, guys. Really enjoy it. Like I said, I've already got it lathered. I already got it on my head. And we're gonna be doing this kind of style, guys, to make things go faster. I know it's a little bit, um, uh, it's getting a little dry. Keep in mind, guys, part of that is just because I'm trying to do a lot before getting on camera with you guys here. But I already have it whipped up in my symmetric pottery bowl. And we're gonna be using a full wood handle brush today from my buddy Charles. This is Chocobolo. Look, even the top of it doesn't have anything on it. Full wood, and this is a 30 mil synthetic knot, guys. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what this um, lather looked like. Just using what's left in my bowl here guys just what this is just what's left in the bowl here but you guys can see it was really nice really got really, got really good soap and i have a little bit left over so uh, definitely enough for a face shave or anything like that you can see it's really good soap i really like the maggards brand and you guys can see it doesn't have like any problems any real uh sticking points i think it's a really good lather even though all i'm using today is a test sample Really good stuff. Okay, we're gonna be using that. We're gonna be using Shannon's Barbershop on top because it's an awesome barbershop scent. Really like this scent. And we're gonna go on top of that with the Barbershop from Sterling, guys. This is Sterling's EDT Barbershop. And guys, today we're not using the standard vector handle. Part of the reason why is because I really like this razor when it has a light handle. I can definitely see why they produced it in titanium because when it gets the lighter it gets, the better the shave is for me. Let's get into it and start knocking down the stubble. We're at 25 hours, guys. 25 hours! Where do we got? We got to knock it down. I'm ready for the shave. And I got to get it done quick today so we can get this uploaded to the tube. All right, guys. Let's do this thing. Let's get it shaved. Let's talk about it. So this razor is considered to be a fairly premium razor. Very, very nice razor from Shane over at Blackland Razor. You can see this is my third time using this razor. I've not used it on camera because I was still doing some fiddling and testing. But you can see the angle of it's very, very easy. They do say it is a more medium aggressive razor. It's like, you know, it's not a, it's not a mild razor by any means. It's It got very little blade fill, but it's highly efficient, guys. Very, very efficient razor. Very, very, very efficient and very fast shaving razor. Um, they put it at a 7 out of 10 on efficiency. That's pretty darn efficient if you ask me. I think that's right on the money. And I think it, I, I definitely would agree it's like a 7 out of 10 as far as efficiency, even with the Kai Captain Pinks. Now, when I switched it over to the feathers, it was like a 9. 
I don't know, efficiency, and like two, like a 12 on blade fill, and I just did not love that. I am not a fan of it with the feathers, but I do like it with these Kai Captains. Because look at this, really nice. I know butter to the toast is the theme because it makes the sound when you use an SC, it goes kind of like a butter toast sound, right? But for me, this doesn't have any sound or really any feedback. It's just very smooth, no pressing required, and very easy to use. And very, very nice shaving razor. We got, you can see we got stubble flying everywhere, but kind of what the stubble looks like, guys. It gets like kind of like up in the front of it. It doesn't really feed to the um, back of it with the way that the lather channels work. Okay, so for me, the razor's awesome, guys. It really is nice. Keep in mind, this is a very expensive razor. I actually bought this specifically for today's shave for the lather games, guys. I did not own a vector, and I've always wanted one, and I was like, I really want to get that one. And I was like, I don't want to buy it. if It's going to cause couch living, right? I don't want to sleep on the couch if I buy one. So I finally got the approval because um, of lather games. It was one of the challenges. Um, Blackland is actually one of the vendors. So we have a huge shout out moment to Blackland for hosting and um, promoting the lather games this year. And because of that, guys, I ended up buying one, right? And I did buy the stainless steel because that's what was available. The titanium one was bought by all you guys that were sneaky and jumped on there and bought it for the games. And even if you're not buying it for the games, guys, the, the titanium is really, I've heard it's awesome. The, st the, the uh, stainless isn't that heavy if you just use the head. And that's kind of why we're using the aluminum handle. Kind of to, you know, give it that uh, nimble feeling that the titanium would kind of have. It's not going to be exact. But I do like the stainless head with the really light handle. I will say that. I like that a lot. Now here. Let's talk about my issue, guys. The issue is the razor tends to bind on the blade. It has a square post on a square hole, and what ends up happening is after you assemble the razor, see, before you assemble it, when you just put the blade the blade on the tab, works fine, you have no problems. But as soon as you attach it and screw it together, pressure happens, either it's on my razor or just the Blackland Vector in general, but what ends up happening is it gets really bound down, guys, and I end up not being able to get the blade off of the actual plate. I have a hard time, so I end up having to actually bend the blade or grab the blade with tweezers and pull it off. And that's gonna make your blade wear out way faster prematurely. It's gonna make it so you have bends on the blade which are not gonna produce a good shave. And on top of that, guys, it's just kind of fiddly. You have this little teeny tiny head, right? Teeny tiny head, look at this. Great shaving little head though, really good shaver when it comes to actual knocking it down. But when you're trying to get the blade off that little surface and it's sharp on the one side, guys, you're gonna get some bites. I got bit, right? And I'm so I was trying to be super careful, slipped in my hand and got cut today. So uh, I, I developed a thing where I take my um, I take my punchers, guys, and I just punch the blade, the back of the blade, uh, in three places. I do it right where the tab um, comes in the middle, and then I do where the two little extra pins are. And I did film that, guys. I wanted to show you guys that I did film it this morning for you. So you can see it on the Subi Hat Cam angle. Even though we're not going to be doing the Subi Hat Cam angle directly, we're going to be doing it in the corner. And that actually fixes the situation where you no longer will have the blade stuck down to the surface. You can actually pull that blade right off like you would any other uh, DE blade. Comes off really easy. And it makes it so that using the Blackland Vector is easy for me on a daily basis, right? It makes it actually a razor I want to pick up and use on a daily basis. Now, I don't know how you would get around that really because what ends up happening is if you make that pin too um, thin, right? If, if, if Blackland were to say, okay, we need to make this a post a little bit thinner, um, what, ends, what ends up gonna happen is that, bl um, that, that blade's not gonna sit in there nice and tight. I don't really know a way around what the problem is here, guys other than to pin, um, cut the blades like I did. Honestly, I don't think it's a Shane issue, I think it's a blade issue, and I think the only way to get around that is to modify the blade so that it comes in and out of that razor nice and easy. It is a problem that I've had consistently with this razor since the first day I picked it up, I was like, I don't know how to get this blade out of the razor, and mine gets stuck every single time. The feathers got stuck, every single brand I've tried in this razor gets stuck. So with that said, with the slight edit of cutting the blade, right? And I know that's a little bit fiddly, and I hate when razors like this that are this expensive have something that's fiddly to them. It has a little bit of fiddliness to them. But I can tell you guys this, every razor I've picked up that's an AC, that's a modern razor, including the Claymore, tends to have problems with getting the blade back out of it. This one's probably the worst. The Claymore is probably a little bit easier to get it out, but all of them kind of hold that blade down. Now the Yachi one does not. Yachi one, it came out nice and easy, but the tolerances were so all over the place with the Yachi guys, that that made you question if your blade was actually loading in nice and straight. Whereas this razor, you never have that question. You always know it's going in nice and straight and it's gonna give you a good shave. 
So it's kind of a give and take situation here, right? Give and take situation. You guys can see here, we flew through the shave. It is a absolutely bananas shave, guys. When you get this thing assembled and it's shaving sweet and you're using a light handle, keep in mind, AC razors for me, I need the light handle. It's not a, it's not a like, it's a need. I really like with the light handle, guys. It just makes it so much easier to get in there and have a nimble, fast, efficient shave, guys. Really efficient, very comfortable, very easy shave very fast shave, and I really like it. Again, I just wanna have a moment here and thank every single one of you that came out yesterday to the Reddit and to and PM'd me personally and wished me well and wished me the best and that um, is joining me on the Lather Games, guys. I think it's really cool. I know this is a, a different type of content and I know that um, we definitely didn't get the viewer uh, in, in engagement that I usually get, so I apologize that this is not your style of content. I'm trying to do something a little unique a little new and speed things up for um, the games in general, guys. And I apologize if that is not as fun to watch, but I'm really enjoying being with you guys on the daily. This is really exciting for me and I'm really enjoying it. So thank you so much. Again, from the Subi heart, from the smiles, guys, from the Subi heart, thank you so much for being here with me on the daily. It really does mean a lot to me and I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of you um, being here. Oh, great shave, guys. Phenomenal shave from the Black Limb Vector. And the best part is I know that I can get the blade back out. I can clean the blade. I can dry the blade off. And I can use it over and over and over again. Whereas before, after getting that blade out, one time I knew I was going to have to probably bend the blade because it had all sorts of warps and, and things trying to get it out from bending it. So this is definitely a hack, guys. It's a workaround that's working really well for me. And I will post in the comment section in the description below where you can buy that punch tool, right? The punch tool is very useful, very, very good, um, easy way to manipulate and get around having that blade get stuck. That's big, probably the biggest problem for me with the Vector. Other than that, it's a smooth ride, guys. It's an awesome shape, and we are BBS. That is done. We are cleaned up. It is a straight three-pass kind of razor for me. In, out, and I get three solid BBS shaves per blade. Three solid ones, guys. It's really nice, especially when I'm doing my full body, right? This is a full body shaver type razor for me. And for me, when I'm, when I'm using it full body every day, it's a three, three shaves solid. I get three perfect shaves. Look at this. Beautiful. And I can't say that a lot of other AC razors for me will do that. So these Kai Captains, guys, really, really nice. Really like those blades. They stay smooth the entire time, which is awesome. And very, very good shave. Love that. Love that life for me. One thing I also will mention here is these corners on the Vector on mine were just a little bit sharp. You never actually touch them, but I wish that those corners were a little bit um, changed. So for me, for this razor, guys, for the Vector itself, I know Shane has a huge following, lots of people that love the razor. For me, it's an awesome shaver. It's a nimble shaver. It's a fast, efficient shaver. Very comfortable. A lot of people have claimed it is the best SE razor on the market. And while I can see their point, it's valid, I do want to say that I had a couple quirks with blade loading that kind of make it fall behind as far as razors that I want to use. Yeah, sure, it's a great shape, but I don't want to use it because I know I got to get that blade out. Now with the Subi hat where you just clip the blades on the back, guys, it's solid. It's a razor I would use daily. It's a razor I love to pick up and it's a razor that I really don't ever want to get rid of. Right, that's a it's a shaver that's fantastic. It's very premium. It's a very pretty looking shaver. And on top of that, guys, it's one that can stay as a staple in the den. But again, I have to clip blades. Just so you guys know, that is a trick that I am doing that makes the shave better for me. The barbershop feels and smells amazing, guys. I really like the shave today. Very awesome shave. We use the Hendrix towel to wipe off, and we're gonna rock out with this uh Sterling Barbershop right here, the EDT. It's nice. It's a little bit, actually, it's a little bit more uh, mellow than the, the Maggard scent. It's a little bit more mellow. Very nice, very clean, very, it's a little, I would say it's a very masculine scent. It smells very European to me. And I really like Sterling for that. It's a very down the middle kind of scent. It's a scent you can wear daily. I really like that barbershop scent from Sterling. Awesome stuff. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for this. This was awesome. I really enjoyed today. Let me know in the comments if you did too. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. It's been awesome so far. Uh, Lather Games 2, right? Day 2, down, and Subi Shave is going to get a nice BBS enjoyable day. Hopefully you do too. I'll see you guys in the next video. Subi out!